that's what pipe is for. And that's the result of dimensional analysis. So I have reduced the complexity of my experiment. That's what I set out to do. And dimensional analysis do nothing. It won't tell me the form and how they relate, increasing or decreasing, and how they change. No, none of that will happen in dimensional analysis. That will have been done by blue force, which is the blue experiment. Yes? They won't necessarily be linear. You won't be. This is very poor representation. In chapter 9, when we talk about external flow, you will see how this graph will behave. And it's obtained only by one and one way, which is how. You do experiment. Right? I talk about an airfoil. But what if I change the shape to a sphere or a highway sign of a tank of this or a truck, <coughs> tracker trailer where I'm trying to measure the drag of a 60 mile per hour truck driving down the highway. All those shapes will result in a different function of how the drag coefficient changes with Reynolds number. But for as far as dimensional analysis is concerned, they didn't change. It will still be pi 1, which is some type of force coefficient, drag, and the Reynolds number. <coughs> so we do it once, and we do it for all. Different shape, a different function, but dimensional analysis is the same, because oh, I, did, I didn't change any of those pi, uh, any of those Q terms. They're all the same. Do you, do you get it? And as a matter of fact, if I <coughs> change the whole nature of the problem, instead of drag, I say I want to do a lift, which is the perpendicular force. Or FL, will the dimensional analysis change? Do we have to redo the whole pi term again if I change the force from a horizontal force, the drag, to the vertical force called lift? Do you understand my question? Will any of this analysis still hold? Yes, there's no change whatsoever. It's just a different direction of the force. And dimensional analysis would still conclude that it's a function of only one thing, and that's the Reynolds number. Yes? So to repeat um, kind of what you were saying, you would have a different pi function for different geometry? Yes, okay. you will have a different function. The pi term are the same, whether it's drag or lift, whether it's an airfoil or a spear or a football or a triangular highway sign, the dimensional analysis didn't change. But the function will change. This graph will have a totally different shape for different objects. And what shape is the subject of chapter 9? So we will wait until then to determine those experiment data. But right now, we are only interested in dimensionless analysis. Do you get it? Okay, we'll take a two minutes break and then we'll come back and talk about the homework.